Hi, Mary from Cycle Maintenance Academy here. Changing gear on a road bike is different to a mountain or hybrid bike, but simple when you know how. So today we're going to look at changing gear on a road bike. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like our video. Okay, let's begin. Bikes with drop bars provide more hand positions than bikes with flat bars, which is sometimes seen as an advantage on longer rides. Modern drop bar levers incorporate braking and gear shifting controls in the same lever so that shifting and braking can be performed in the different hand positions. Shimano Dual Control These levers have one long blade integrated with the brake lever and a second smaller one or a button on the inner side of the lever. To change gear, push the blades towards the inside of the bars. Pulling the brake lever blade towards the handlebars will apply the brake. Push on the main blade to shift in one direction. The right hand lever will shift the rear derailleur from a higher to lower gear. Each click moves the derailleur one cog. The left hand lever will shift the front derailleur from a lower to a higher gear. Push on the smaller blade or the button to shift in the other direction. The right shifter will shift the rear derailleur from a lower to a higher gear and the left lever will shift the front derailleur from a higher to a lower gear. Trim. The left hand lever will sometimes have more clicks than the number of cogs at the front. This is a trim function and means that the derailleur can be moved a small amount to stop it rubbing against the chain. Starting with the derailleur on the smallest cog and the lever in the lowest gear move through the rear gears. When the rear gear is on the two smallest cogs, the chain may rub on the derailleur. Now move your left hand lever one click. This should shift the derailleur far enough to stop the rubbing, but not far enough to change gear. By pushing the right hand lever again, the chain should now move to the next cog. Now move the right hand lever to move the rear derailleur down the gears. If the chain starts rubbing on the inside of the front derailleur, then click once with a small lever and the derailleur should shift enough to stop rubbing. One more click on that lever should move the derailleur to the smallest cog. SRAM Double Tap SRAM integrated brake and shift levers employ one small lever behind the main brake lever and this moves the derailleurs in both directions. To control the rear derailleur, the right hand gear lever is pushed inwards. A small movement of one click moves the derailleur to a higher gear. To change to a lower gear, move the lever past one index point to the next click. By keeping on pushing the lever, it is possible to move one to three lower cogs in one action. For the front derailleur, the lever moves in the same way with a push and a release to move to a lower gear and a longer push to go to a higher gear. Thanks for watching. I hope that was useful.